Awesome. Wow. Woo! Fantastic. Um, so, I want to explain what's going on, but I don't want you to miss the early jams. So, uh, stay quiet for a little. All right, well, we're back. <laughs> we're gonna go for like a two skip again. Usually in runs, missing it, is it's not a huge deal. So I still go for it every time. But sometimes we'll fall in the moat. It happens. Yep. Too far to the right there. Yep. And we got like a two. <laughs> All right, so while this is going, let me tell you a little bit about CZR. He has been playing the drums for 13 years. Um, he started uh, speedrunning Ocarina of Time for five months on a regular controller. And then for fun, he just thought, hmm, why don't I try doing this on my drum set? And he set up some software to make that happen, an emulator, of course. Then after about a month of OOT, he decided to switch to Mario 64. And he's been speedrunning Mario 64 with a drum set for the last six months. Uh, what you're gonna see right now is him going for the first star. That's often done with a bomb clip. Bomb clip requires complex enough inputs that it is difficult to do on the drum set, so instead he has a more Thank safe, you. more consistent backup. And that, that's gonna be the theme of today, is that um, there are certain things that are just so difficult on the drums, so for marathon safety, you're gonna be seeing a lot of interesting backup strategies. Uh, so, what do you think, Caesar? How, how does it be playing one of your favorite childhood games on the it feels drums? really nice, actually. Right now, I am playing on this gold Nintendo 64. It's the one I owned as a kid, and it's my childhood copy uh, of Super Mario 64. So, it's a really nice experience to do this, to have, you know, my two favorite hobbies merged together into what turned out to be an amazing experience. Awesome. Yeah, uh, until about two weeks ago, Caesar was running this uh, on emulator, and uh, he actually joined our Discord server at discord.tas.bot, and he asked if there was any way that we thought he could do it on a real console. And so um, we decided that my TAS replay device could be slightly modified, this was done by myself and a community member, Zayatskin, nice. who is excellent with MIDI devices. And yes, cannon lights. Always nice. Hike. Woo! That yep. feels good. Um, and with that special script modification and the slight modification to the firmware, we were able to make it work. Um, Caesar, do you want to explain the controls? Can you yep. do that while you're running it, or should I? Uh, should I take that? Yeah, I that? can. Um... Maybe after this star. <laughs> All right. So after he grabs that star, he'll start to tell you about yeah, his Yeah. So the drum goals. heads are my Damn. directional buttons: up, right, left, down. The C buttons are the rims of my drums. I have my B button on this symbol. The A button is on my bass drum, and then I have start on the hi hat symbols and Z on on my hi hat pedal. Cool. So while he focuses on this, um, getting the triple triple jumps up here is actually pretty tricky to do consistently. Um, but it's okay. He has a nice uh, side flip wall jump backup. I think that's the backup he's going to go for. He has a couple backups. And you have to do, you know, when your controller type is a little bit inherently inconsistent, you're, you get really good at uh, finding backups on backups to make sure you can finish the run. Uh, another thing that he pointed out that I want to emphasize is that Hitting the drum in the center versus hitting the drum on the rim has a different function. And it's really cool that his drum set is able to do that. Similarly, some of his cymbals have different touch areas that we can map to uh, different inputs. So that is Yeah, we'll see really an example cool. of that later in this stage for the Owl Star. Yeah, definitely. Um... So what else? Um, ah, yes. So he said uh, bass pedal is mapped to A. He actually, like like a good rocker, has a double bass pedal. <laughs> so he can press A rapidly with both of his feet if he needs to, which might come in handy for, I don't know, say, uh, something like BLJs, 
And yes, BLJs will be attempted using the drum set. First, you're gonna see uh, an interesting alternative method for climbing this tower. A little bit more consistent on the drums, still a bit tricky. Uh, especially with the lag. Um, I was saying before that he used to run this on emulator for the longest time. One of the main differences between emulator and console is the amount of lag, especially when climbing this tower. So, you have a lot of fun stuff to look forward right. to. One more start in here. And then we'll move on. All right, and while we go for not Owlis, uh, you can, if there's any other donations, uh, feel free. Nice. Very nice owl stuff. Um, I can't, I can't promise, but I wouldn't be surprised that if a donation, if a donation gets read, uh, Caesar, you know, hey, please do a stick trick or a certain rhythm. Um, I can't promise for him, but knowing him, he'll probably try and <laughs> stick I'll trick. I try, yes. If Get someone those donations donates for in. it. <laughs> um, one interesting thing about taking the owl is. Not only does he have the symbols map to A, excuse me, the bass pedal map to A, he also had one hi-hat map to A, and he held it together with his hand. That way the A button was held. But, uh-oh, here comes the penguin troll. Oh, he gets it right away. That baby penguin likes to torture us, especially during our practice runs, but he gets the nice, very smooth delivery of baby back to mama penguin. Nice job. So we need eight stars to get into Bowser 1. What do you think, chat? The next star we're gonna get is in Cool Cool Mountain. And here we go, pulling back with a little kick to make sure we don't fall off. And we will find out if wall kicks do indeed work. Let's see if they do. What do you know? Wall kicks will work. There you go, nice. And there we go. Good start. <laughs> Wall kicks will work, uh, Z cancels will not. Always. <laughs> so coming up next is Bowser 1. Was that Bowser in the Fire Sea? Is that the proper name? Uh, uh, about Dark World. <laughs> Bowser in Dark World. Bowser in the Dark World. Fire Sea is yes. Bowser 2. So um, so watch this double backflip, an easy. easy way to get there uh, if you have a difficult controller. Um, what do you think about this Bowser stage on drums? Uh, what's really nice about the Bowser stage is that it is cycle-based, so you can get into the rhythm, no pun intended. Excellent, and we know as a drummer you love to get in the rhythm. Um, as he goes through this stage, um, there's one more aspect of the controls I'd like to share with you, and that's that we coded a special we call the toggle switch, and that twitches his controller setting into a new mode. Normally, to run up, he has to keep tapping up with a drum roll. But for Bowser throws, uh, we set it so that if you hit an analog direction, it holds it. So he will hit up to hold up, he will then hit left to make it go left, he will then hit down, and he's gonna go in circles by going in circles on the drum pad. Um, so that will make it a little easier to do Bowser throws. Um, also, it used to be even harder. Uh, I don't know if we want to explain that. Are you are, are you wearing that shirt? Yeah, this the is old the old pattern? Bowser throws. I have it written down uh, on this shirt that I have. But basically, I had to hit twice as many inputs for the old Bowser throws. Oh, not quite enough. Ooh. Need to drink a little more milk first. There we go. There Good we thing go. is the backup for this Bowser isn't too bad. One key, One down. key down. Half the stars. So yeah, the Bowser throws recently so got an update as far as the controls go. Uh, thanks to Onosaurus. 
I have to hit half as many inputs to get the Bowser throws going. Um, the cool, the cool thing about the first ones is they sound really awesome, but they're extremely hard to play. Real quick, you want to demonstrate the rhythm while you're while you're in the key door. Those are the old. Yes, ones. this would. He had to do all of that to get Bowser to like barely spin. <laughs> and I just had to do it for a very long time. So now with. Yeah. And that is the rhythm on his shirt. All right, so it looks like Shifting Sandland is our next destination. We're going to be going for two stars here, I believe. We'll both start off with triple jumping over the sand. Nice, wow, excellent save. Uh, now he has to decide if he's going for the bird or the star. Looks like the star it is. <laughs> I'm so used to dying there that I, I learned that save. So, um, worked out. Right, that's the theme. If you're doing a speed run with a janky controller like a drum set, you gotta learn your backups and safety strats. Because, uh, you know, if you look at Caesar's sum of best, he's pretty far below his sum of best, and that's just because it's inherently inconsistent. It's a difficult controller type. So, um, you know, just... Not dying will save more time. Um, and on that note of consistency, this is where we go for the uh, bird star, rather than the other way. It's just way too hard to try and perfectly move uh, the other way. <laughs> Maybe someday. Missed it right here. Good thing I have Come on, get up, Mario. to get me out of the sand. <laughs> Alrighty. And that's right, this is a pretty expensive controller. Uh, calls a thousand dollar controller janky in the chat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is even more than a thousand dollars This is a really nice MIDI drum set um, and if you follow Caesar um, uh, CZR underscore yes. drums is it? Uh, uh, he streams uh, you can do a command in his chat to find out what drum set he uses But it is a real professional MIDI drum yeah. set. Fortunately, you you won't be finding this oh, nope. at GameStop <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, it's always fun to get the question. Uh, rock band drum set? Um, no, a rock band drum set probably would not be able to distinguish between the center of the snare and the rim shots. So, um, yeah. So that was the boulder star. Uh, the next star we're going to do will involve uh, clipping through uh, a floor, much like practical tasks demonstrated in the last run. Some runs, like Onyx, you can stand on and not clip below, but you can jump up through. And that is exactly what's gonna happen right here. This is a little more consistent way for him to do it on the drums, even though most controller runners will do it in a slightly different way. Here we go. Right up through there. And with that, we will clear out Hazy Maze Cave. Yeah, one more start in here. The eleva elevator oh. clip. Which one did I forget? Tutorial. One more. Oh, yes! Oh, and that's my favorite one, too. Nice call. Yeah. So, some of you may remember the uh, top 64 speedrunners. They'll get up there, then they'll do a triple jump over an invisible wall. There is a slightly easier way to do that, where you have the elevator push you through the floor, and you will end up right at the star in the middle of an island. You see that right? about now. Watch that elevator give Mario a gentle hug and say, you go through the floor. And he says, okay. There we go. And now to the hardest star of the whole run. All right. Does he want to yes, talk? Yes, he does. <laughs> wow. Good job, Toad. Thank you so much. Nice job ending up there. That's always fun. <laughs> so, what are we expecting in Lethal Lava Land? Okay. Yeah. Which would be the easiest, easiest star? Oh. The easiest star on drums would be the eight red... Which is still not easy. It's not easy to hit the first cycle. And we just made it. Awesome. Nice. So, 
the rabbit. All right, it's time for Mips to live, which I have found to be more consistent on console than on, on emulator. Missed the early grab, but this neat little trick guarantees a Mips grab. If you're like me and you can never grab that darn rabbit, that is your backup strat. That easy little slide, he comes right into your arms. He just wants to help Mario get to the second Bowser. Like Mips. I said he just wants to help you get to the second Bowser. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna try again. See, I jinxed it by saying it's easier on console. Oh, good. That's okay. Yeah. On console, it's really difficult, and Mips doesn't That's, like to behave. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Um, now would probably be a good time for a donation if there is one while we dive into the laggy water. <laughs> or hit a wall. Uh, yeah, here right we go. Here. Unfortunately, there, we do not have any more donations right now, but uh, just as a reminder, all the proceeds are going to NAMI. Hey, no problem at all, um, because um, I'm sure Caesar would love to tell you what it was like to go from emulator to this lag you're about to see, and uh, close your eyes for the next 10 seconds if you get dizzy easily. So with his control scheme, he cannot just hold C side, so he has to keep spamming it. Um, let's see how he does with this backflip, or if he goes for another strat. Nope. I'm gonna go for a backup strat right here. All good. Yeah. If I remember correctly, the backup is especially laggy, so this should be fun. And as the N64 struggles <laughs> to chug it out, we get our 16th star. So th those, those are all the stars we're gonna get on, in this run. And now we have two keys left. Alrighty, um, you'll see some, definitely some uh, safer strats here. Um, back when CZR started running this, he said that the Bowser fights used to take 20 to 30 minutes each just to get one Bowser. Needless to say, he's gotten slightly better since then. Um, but, you know, between the motion needed to get Bowser up to speed with the old method and everything else, it was uh, a bit difficult. Um, so we'll see what cycle of the elevator we get. I think we're gonna have to wait yep. one more cycle, but maybe he can prove me wrong. Nope. We barely missed it. I don't think I've made oh. that cycle once before, but no worries. We'll continue. It's all good. Yep. He's gonna go for the um, double lava hop strategy at the end of this. And then we will show you how he fights Bowser 2. Pretty similar. He wants to end right where the tail is when the level stabilizes. Do the magic drum rhythm. Oh. <laughs> and oh, that's, that's too really bad, bad. But that is a that is not a ton of time loss. He can go right back in there and show Bowser Good who's thing boss. About this fight. So that and. Oh, needed to work out beforehand. All his throws just a little short. But we got this. Everyone, show CZR your support in chat. There you go. Nice. Press 1 if CZR is better at Mario 64 on drums than you are with a regular controller. I'm typing 1 in chat. <laughs> 
Very nice. Now it's uh, it's about that time to do some BLJs. This is one of the highlights of this run for sure. And the reason being is BLJs are not guaranteed. It usually takes a couple of tries, but um, it, it adds some some RNG or some variability to the run, which makes it really fun to watch. There you go. <laughs> uh, we have an inside joke about that clip. All right, here we go. So he's gonna set his control mode so that he only has to hit down once and it's gonna hold down. He's gonna grab the symbol to hold Z and he's gonna use both of his feet to spam A yeah, and I think, he, so. I think he has yep. it. I think this momentum will push him through. There is the first BLJ clip. Fantastic. Uh, definitely the harder of the two BLJs. Although here we like to get yeah. stuck in an invisible wall. Yup, here we go, same thing. Holding direction, holding Z, spamming the foot pedals, hoping not to go to Dire Dire Docks, although I'm secretly <laughs> hoping it would be really funny. <laughs> he turns at the last minute because I scare him from going in Dire Dire Docks. And, and we, <laughs> he we decides to chill out. That's fine. Okay, Mario, take a deep breath. Let's go back, give it another shot. But no, I think he did try and turn because he saw he probably yeah, was going to really go to Dire Dire angle. Docks by accident. So to avoid that. Yeah. If you gain enough angle and Mario is going to the left instead of the right, then there is a very high chance you fly through the wall and enter another chain, another stage. So that was the abort on that. Here we go. Hit that speed. Okay, we got stuff. And then the problem with this wall is you hit invisible walls all the time, but this time he was on the good side of the right. invisible wall, and it's time for the final stage. Straightforward. Um, he's not going to go for the triple jump. He's going to take it safe here. Not worth the risk. <clears throat> Very good. I'm just going to let him focus. Nice. nice. Very good. Now the question is, are you going to take the elevator? No. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe we should. All right. This is a recent change he's been doing. He's been taking the elevator for a while. He's been learning elevatorless, drumless strategies. Or sorry, elevatorless drum strategy. He's just incorporated that into his routine. So no problem. Let's throw some hearts in the chat for CZR, and we're going to go ahead and get it next time. Oh, if we can get up here. I'll wait for the... for this. Yeah, those seesaws, sometimes they like to obey normal physics and sometimes the they like to go backwards. You no, know, those are. <laughs> yeah. You got lots of hearts in chat. Chat is with you. There we go. Here we go again. Nice. And then we're gonna try a uh, side flip run jump strategy to get on the pole. I go for it again. Almost. Yeah, you got it, man. I know you got it. You're doing just fine on time. There you go. We don't need no pull of shame. Watch as he perfectly walks to the side, backflips up, and avoids the glitchiness of that pull. Very nice. Very good. Is he gonna go for the long jump? Where are our RNG Goombas at? It's looking clear. He's going for it, and we're, we're clear. All right. All right, now we're entering the last Bowser fight. Here. I use a, a safe safe strategy for, for this one. We're immediately gonna run to, towards a bomb and hope that Bowser runs towards us, and he does. All of you struggling on Bowser 3, check out this strategy. 
it is very nice and consistent. When he runs away, Bowser will do one of two things. He will jump up in the air and ground pound like you are seeing now, or he will charge Mario. Nice. So one jump. Very good, RNG. And now we're entering the last throw. Nice. He's going to do his angry dance, which will allow him to easily grab the tail. And we just have one Bowser throw to go. Make sure we got enough oomph on that. Oh, barely missed it. <laughs> Ooh, very, very, very close. close. Now this will be interesting. There you go. Very nice. <laughs> Do we have a clock running? Because this might be a world record for know. you. What's the time on this? Let's wait till you grab that star. Nice. And that time. I got to take a look at the street. There was a timer running. Oh, OK. Oh, I thought Reisama. OK, I read sub 25 in the really? chat. Oh, wait, but does that? They may have kept the timer running right during now, the reset. According to I'm not the sure. Stream, we are looking at a 27:34. Okay, fair, fair. That'll be interesting to time after. So now, you want to tell everyone about oh, the yes. gong tradition, and then we'll get to the fun. And I'll mute uh, my mic I for the fun. I hit the gong on my stream when I get world records, uh, but I think this run was special enough. It was the first marathon jump percent run. So let's get that gong hit in there. <laughs> and because we met the donation incentive, I will be jamming now to the ending credits. Also another world record tradition on my stream. Awesome. Well, I'm going to sign off right here and leave you to the credits. I'm going to hard mute my mic. Thank, Thank you, you, CZR. Thank you, Zayat Skin, for helping adopt the mini. And let's rock out. Thank you, Onosaurus. You Thank you for making this possible. And this was a lot of fun. Thank you guys for watching as well. Hope you enjoy the ending credits. Let's just wait for Peach to kiss Mario and to give the cake. <laughs> I'll be also moving my mic. So enjoy. Here we go! Listen, everybody, let's bake a delicious cake for Mario.
And thank you for watching that run. I've been CZR, and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Oh, 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 o